girls and guys, it's Presley, and I finally got a new job. So the new job that I work at is at this program where I watch over children with disabilities who have Down syndrome, autism, intellectual disabilities, and possibly other disabilities that I don't know about. Um, I work there from Mondays, Tuesdays, and Wednesdays from 11, 11 a.m. to, at first it would be, it was 6 p.m., but it got changed to 5.30 because my mom comes home around 5 and she would pick me up during that time. It's the same time as she gets off work because that sounds a lot easier. Anyway, I interviewed for that job a month ago and I knew what to say when I was asked all these questions because, you know, I try to practice in my head. I felt a lot more professional at that job interview than the last interview I did because I was 18 and it was the library. It was my very first job there. But for this job, I just felt and acted a lot more for professional. Like I felt confident about getting that job and I got the job. And when I started my first day at work, it was overwhelming. No kids didn't show up yet because kids, when they're, when school starts, they don't show up until like 3.30. So I showed up at 11 because I had to had to take multiple courses, online courses, for that goes over child abuse or knowing about the autism um, spectrum disorder, a bunch of other things just to see if I know um, a lot of certain things. And I never had to do that when I worked at the library because when I worked at the library, I just, you know, had to learn my, rope, wet my way around the library. I didn't have to take any online courses, but these online courses took me multiple days to do, and it felt like a video game tutorial, like a video game introduction. It was, it was mentally exhausting, but as soon as the kids got here around 3.30, I watched over the children, and they're not so bad. Some of them are screamers, but the crazy part that happened is that we have a chalkboard in the big kids' room, and when my back was turned, watching all the other, observing the other kids, I realized that someone drew a penis on the chalkboard. What a good start to my first day at work, huh? What a good fucking start. How, wow, how, how, wow. I just, I was shocked that a kid could just draw something like that. But it's not their fault. Some kids, some kids um, that come into this program have not so good, like, parents. Some of their parents are bad. They, don't just, they just don't have good role models in general. And it's our job as their caregivers to make sure that we're better role models than their bad parents or some, something along those lines. Because I would hate for my hard work to go to waste. If I ended up, you know, being a good role model for um, these children and they grow up to be a criminal, I would immediately feel bad thinking it would be my fault that I did something wrong. But... <sighs> Let's just hope that I can, you know, be a good role model for these children and that I can make an important impact on their lives. And that I'll, um, oh yeah, I forgot to mention that the age range of kids that I watched over was different. I had, at first, my first day I had to watch over the big kids, seven, age seven and older. Day two, I had to watch over kids from five, from six to five or whatnot. And then... It's it's just I had to get my ropes around other variations of like rooms with different uh, kids with different age groups, different disabilities. And then by the time I'm done with the um, examining all the rooms, well, not examining, just watching over the rooms with all these different children, um, the big boss will decide on what 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 um, what's better for me. Well, actually, I'll decide. I'll ask my boss, hey, I think this is better for me. I want to watch over this age groups of children. So it won't be so bad. I got overwhelmed on the second day of work, but that's okay. Everybody gets overwhelmed on their first day or first week of work. And eventually, I'll get to learn the ropes around the... Um, around the building and stuff because I have a lot of nice co-workers there and they're very, very sweet. Shout out to them, by the way. So eventually when I get to learn the, around the ropes, I'll be a fantastic professional and the kids would for sure love me. Anyway, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that jazz. And I'll see you guys in the next video.